Hey friends, welcome to my Sunday episode of Let's Be Real. Today's episode's topic is active rest. It's kind of a continuation on from last week where I was talking about the importance of rest. Um, the Lord has just really been highlighting this um, for me and he wanted me to share this with you today. And so I'm just going to do a little bit of teaching. I took some notes so that I don't miss anything, um, but think, I think it's important um, that we learn um, this process as the year gets started because the Lord really wants us to rest actively. And um, when I say rest, um, a lot of times our mind goes directly to just laying down and doing nothing. Um, but in the sense of spiritual rest, what I'm speaking of, um, yes, a lot of times our bodies do need to just lay down and do nothing and just kind of chill out. But I think what the Lord is really highlighting for us is to actively rest in him. And so I'm just going to break down a little bit of what that looks like. Um, I don't know if you ever worked out, but I used to do this CG boot camp and um, we would have like all these different stations and different things that we would have to do. We would do maybe like 60 seconds or two minutes of work and then we'd have like maybe 20 or 30 seconds of rest. Um, but one thing that I learned that um, the rest that we did, um, our my trainer called it active recovery. And so um, it wasn't just us sitting down on the ground and doing nothing like we were, our bodies were still engaged. So active rest or active recovery in that sense um, may, may be hydrating yourself or um, stretching, you know, or maybe um, fine tuning your foam, your foam, foam, your form. And so that's what the active rest or active recovery looked like. So it wasn't just sitting down because when you just plop down and do nothing and then your body has to jump up vigorously um, to be re-engaged is a little bit harder than when you're actively doing something in those that moment of rest. So spiritually, it's kind of the same way. So it's important that we engage in spiritual rest um, so that we have the strength that we need um, in times ahead to go further. Um, so rest um, physically allows your muscles to recover, to adapt, and become stronger. Um, that's why a lot of times like you might do legs one day and then arms the next day because you allow those different muscles to actively recover and they regenerate new cells. And so you're not stressing the set, um, the muscles um, so much like back to back. So that's why you alternate the different body uh, groups that you um, that you're working out. And so spiritually, it's, you know, very similar. Um, so spiritual active rest works much the same way. Um, it helps you switch from striving and from warring to more uh, focus. Um, a lot of it's inward. So like one way that you can do this is by, you know, just spending time in prayer, by reading scripture, by journaling, by um, praise and worship. And these are all ways that you build your relationship with the Lord. And so he's really um, wanting us to engage in um, active spiritual rest so that we can get to know him better and that strengthens us. And there are also actual physical um, changes that take place when we um, allow our brains to go inward and focus. And um, so there's different things that are happening. Cells are regenerating when we do this. And so when you feel disconnected or scattered, that's often a sign that you need to participate in some active spiritual rest. Um, just a time to go inward, to reflect um, on things that have gone right and things that have gone wrong, and just lay them before the Lord. So by allowing yourself to actively rest, you're providing yourself with the restoration and the regeneration that your body needs, both physically and spiritually. So it, it increases our capacity to understand um, 
God more because we grow closer to him and we connect with him on a deeper level. And if you follow me every day when I do my 1222 prayer, I always say that um, our salvation is not about religion. It's about relationship. And this is so key with in regards to active rest because the Lord just wants to have that time with you and develop a relationship with you. I look at it just like if you think about whenever you were getting into a relationship, you were starting to fall in love. And what did you do to get to know that person? You spent hours and hours talking to them on the phone and just spending time with them. And um, it's the same way spiritually. When you are actively resting, you are spending time with the Father and you're getting to know Him. And um, it's increasing your capacity to understand Him better, to understand yourself better, and, and to be able to deal with certain challenges that you might face because um, you're looking inward and you're not pointing the finger and you're trying to learn the lesson um, through the struggle. So that's why it's important that we actively participate in um, active rest and because um, it's just better for not only us, but for the people around us. And so, um, you know, when we get to know the Lord, like his his first request is for us to love him and just to learn to love him. And I know that's hard for a lot of people, but it's really simple. You know, that's why he sent his son to die was because he loved us. And so he wants us to develop um, that relationship with him. And so um, I want to present you with a little challenge this week. And I want to challenge you to, for the next seven days, to just sit with the Lord and tell him about your day. So this is uh, an exercise in active rest, spiritual rest. And so just spend the next seven days every day, tell them about your day. You can either say it verbally, you can journal it. it it's very helpful for me to journal things. Um, I don't know, it's just very cathartic. But um, whatever you know you like to do, just tell the Lord about your day and give him, like tell him all the highs, the lows. Um, he is there for it all. He is ready to listen to you. So every day, at the end of your day, instead of like maybe watching TV before you go to bed, just say, okay, Lord, this is our time. I am going to give you this active spiritual rest today. And just tell them, you know, what's on your heart, what worked, what didn't work, all of those things, whatever you're feeling, just tell him about it. It doesn't have to be anything, um, you know, hard. You don't even have to focus on reading scripture right now, but just tell him about your day. And then sit for a few minutes and just listen and see if you hear him tell you anything. He might just fill your heart with peace and give you comfort and joy. Um, he might even give you a solution to the problems that you're facing. Or he might tell you about his love and give you some encouragement. And um, I would really like to know how it goes next week, next Sunday, when we come back for another episode of Let's Be Real. I would love to hear in the comments how that worked out for you. But this just little simple exercise to help you develop your relationship with the Lord and to get to know him in just a very simple way. This is something that I love to do. I just tell him about my day. And um, he always comforts me when I need comforting. He, um, you know, if I need, um, if I've done something wrong, he gently corrects me and helps steer me in the right way to go. And so I just want to challenge you to do that this week. And I pray that you will grow um, in your relationship with the Lord. It's very simple. Just, you know, tell me about your day. It doesn't have to be like this long, drawn out thing. Um, but that's just a way for you to get to know him a little better. And so just let me know how it works out for you, okay? I hope you guys have a great Sunday evening. And I will see you for another episode of Let's Be Real next Sunday. Blessings, everyone. Bye-bye.